Hey guys, today we're going to make bagels. Uh, a little trickier than the Turkish recipe we made last week, but very rewarding and interesting recipe. Um, it's got uh, six ingredients and we'll make about 10 bagels. Uh, at the end of the video, Tanya will give you the weights, so don't worry if you miss them now. I'll read them out now as we go. Uh, so we've got 750 grams of flour. Uh, went to Woolies today, saw flour and yeast is back. So 750 grams of flour, 50 grams of milk powder, 30 grams of sugar, 15 grams of salt, uh, 20 grams of dried yeast, and 410 grams of water. So first of all, we'll put it together, uh, starting with the yeast and water. So put our yeast in. We'll grab a tiny pinch of the salt and the sugar in there, all the water, And we'll quickly mix it up. Easy peasy. Next step is we'll put all our dries together. So put them all in this bowl. In they go. And give that a quick mix on top. Then we'll put that uh, dry ingredient straight into our mixer here and into our um, KitchenAid using the paddle on slow speed. Um, that's pretty much it for now. A quick explanation. Um, bagels um, require the yeast to work quite hard. Um, so what we do is we uh, mix the dough for about six minutes get the gluten working, and then we uh, prove it in this bowl, that means that the dough rises. And we'll prove that for a short amount of time, uh, as little as 15 minutes, knock it back, let it grow a tiny bit more, and that's the two provings there. Then we will shape it, poach it, and bake it. There we go. Uh, We'll put the video back on when this dough is mixed. Thanks. Hey guys, next step. Um, I've proved this uh, dough twice. Um, it was about there twice. Uh, confession, it took uh, longer than I expected, about 40 minutes of proof. Uh, back in the day we had proving ovens and warmer kitchens. So then I've knocked it back and I've weighed it out to about 95 grams. And I want to achieve that uh, bagel there. So I've got my um, uh, bread and I'm going to make about a foot long thin sausage. Uh, it's going to get a lot bigger than it looks. And we want to um, curl it around underneath itself. And once you do that, you want to see that uh, that bit equals that bit. That's just a bit of tradition. Put it on your flour tray, not too many on each tray. We're going to let that prove up. And then we're going to put it into mildly uh, boiling water, quickly poach it in and out, turn over in and out, back on our tray, egg wash it, pop your seeds into a pretty hot oven. Um, that's it for now. Hi guys, okay, back again, and now we're going to do the exciting part of um, the bagels, which is poaching and baking. Uh, you roll them out, you saw that, and they actually prove uh, slower time, giving you an opportunity uh, to put some in before the next ready, but it does move along quite quickly. I've got one bagel here as an experiment, which might be slightly overproved to show you what happens if you go too far. Although having said that, I think it's perfect, which is a shame. Uh, <laughs> move along. So I'm going to pick up the bagel with my hand and put it in the water and then turn it over with this flipper and straight out onto the baking tray, egg wash, um, poppy seeds in the oven. I've got a fairly hot oven, not as hot as Turkish, about 220 degrees, it's got a mild fan in there as well. Probably the um, top trays are gonna work better than the bottom trays, but because we're doing one tray at a time, that should be fine. I've also done some little bagels here, uh, and you can, when, once they're cooked, you can slice them with a knife, or a slicer if you've got one, and toast them with a bit of garlic butter and they're just gorgeous in salads. 
think I've remembered everything. Okay. Here we go. I actually think this guy, they're perfect. That one's perfect, and I wanted to show you an overproof one, but it's perfect, unfortunately. <laughs> We're just running out of time here. So here we go. Uh, what, what's happened with it is it's got really light, and I can feel how fragile it is. If you take it too far and too light and too fragile, you're asking too much from the dough. By the time you pick it up, put it in there, turn it over, put it back on here and egg wash it, it'll collapse. So that's what might happen with this one and maybe better with this one. Okay, here we go. In, turn, out, drain, over. I'll do it with these ones which I thought might be slightly better. The water's on a mild um, simmer. Um, not boiling the hell out of it. Working fast now. Uh, bagels have a lot of sugar in them, as you saw on the recipe, uh, and milk powder, so they color up quite quickly as well. So remembering this one might collapse a bit. Maybe not, I think it's gonna be perfect. Okay, here we go. You can see that what the, um, the water has done, is has, uh, well, it's glossed up the, um, top layer of the dough, uh, made it chewy, slightly cooked it, and um, that's that. A bit of poppy seed on there, put anything you want on there. Okay. And they'll get even bigger. In the oven they go. I'm guessing the oven time for that is, um, oh, we'll keep an eye on it, probably 10 minutes. Uh, probably turning around as well. This whole process has taken three hours plus and it's not for someone to walk away and go shopping. Go do something else within the house because if you overprove at any stage, you're not gonna get a good product. Let's see how we go. Hey guys, bagels are done. Uh, there they are. It made about 14. I've got some little ones to pull out of the oven right now and that finishes the batch off. Uh, bake cute. Um, them a little bit, but anyway, uh, they are bake bakery quality bagels, nice and light. Um, all going well. We might have these at Hobby Lane tomorrow with our um, Thai pumpkin soup, which lovely Fern has made, and toasted bagel. Pretty good, hey? So you can make this recipe at home. Just takes a bit of respect. There you go, guys.